So here we're gonna give a quick overview of the dashboard. So when you first log into Moodle, you will see your dashboard. And the first thing up at the top here we have is our course card. So we'll see any in-progress courses that we have within Moodle. And then when we scroll down, we will see our timeline. And here you'll see any upcoming deadlines which show on the timeline. Not all deadlines will show on the timeline, so it's worth encouraging students to cross-reference their syllabus with their timeline on Moodle so that they're aware of all deadlines that may be pending. Then across on the right, we have our recently accessed courses, and this panel on the right, we can close and open. So here you can see I can cycle through the different classes that I've been viewing on Moodle. We also have a list of upcoming events. Those can be course events or other events. Now in your dashboard, you'll be able to change which courses you see by coming to this menu and viewing either in progress, future, or past courses. So basically what this means is that if you are looking for a course that's going to start in the next semester, then you would want to look at future courses. The start date of the course is what sets this. If you're wanting to look at in progress courses, you'd be looking at courses in the current semester. And then we can also click on these three dots to unstar or star courses, and that will give us control over which courses we see within the dashboard here. So if we click on these three dots, we can unstar this course, hit refresh, and then we'll only see the two courses that are starred. You can also change the sort order, so we can sort the course by name or by last accessed, and we can change the view as well to be a card, a list, or a summary of the class. So lots of control over the dashboard and what you see. Once you click on the course card, then you'll dive into your class, and if you're needing to modify your class, you'll find the edit mode button right up at the top right where we can turn editing on or off. If you do have any questions, then please don't hesitate to get in touch.